In the 1992-93 season, I got promoted to the first team. Hidink was manager and he compared me with Romario because we both have that goal-scoring instinct. José Luis Chiclana, a journalist who was working with Ser, from then on he called me Romario del Dyer and it stuck. Juan Sanchez always had something very easy to describe but very difficult to possess. His ease in scoring was with him during his training at Valencia and it helped him rise quickly to the first team. I scored 38 goals with the reserves. Gus Hiddink was the Valencia manager and he told me I'd be playing the pre-season with the first team. That's when you start to feel part of the professional game. For me that year, as a kid of 20 from the reserves, well, you just try to do the best you can at every chance, every second you get. It's a learning year. I scored seven goals in La Liga and the Copa and I thought I was going to be here for the rest of my life. Juan Sánchez made his first division debut in 1992 with Valencia. But after one season with Los Che, he decided he had to move away from Mestalla to get the minutes he wanted. I went on loan to Mallorca and I had a good season. When I came back, I felt I was going to get a chance at Valencia, but ended up going to Celta. The thing is, you have to make your own space in the game. Celta were in the first division and I ended up staying there five years. It was a good team. We got into the UEFA Cup and I got called up to the national side. I remember Vigo with pleasure, personally and professionally. It's the club that gave me my chance. I played a lot there. If I hadn't spent those five years at Celta, I don't think I would have got my chance at Valencia. After six seasons away from home, leaving his mark at Mallorca and Vigo, Juan Sánchez returned to his hometown club. It was time for him to stake his claim with a very demanding coach indeed, Hector Cooper. It was my dream to return. I said to myself, I have to play for Valencia, I have to make many appearances and stay for many years. I did it, and at a time which was one of the club's best periods. I got there, we beat Barcelona in the Supercopa that season with Coupe. We played the final of the Champions League against Madrid. The following season we got to the Champions League final again against Bayern. Nobody really gave us a chance in either of those two games. It was a shame to get so close without actually winning the thing. I still talk about it with my old teammates, Albelda, Baraja, Vicente, Curro. I don't think any of us at the time were really aware of what it would mean to be able to say now, I've won the Champions League. It's too much. We've won a Liga, we've won a UEFA Cup, but I think the Champions League is something else. That music and everything that surrounds the matches. Despite missing out on true European glory in his second spell at Valencia, Juan lived every footballer's dream, winning the league with the team he'd supported all his life. The next season with Benitez, we won La Liga, and for any player, that is so important. And doing it here, with my club, as a player from here, doesn't get much better than that. Everyone knows how hard it is to win the Liga against teams like Madrid and Barcelona. So what we did had a lot of merit. Two years later, still with Benitez, we won La Liga and the UEFA Cup. They were a fantastic few years. I remember those years fondly, because all your friends and family are here with you every day. It was just an amazing time for all of us. Juan Sánchez achieved his most spectacular successes with Rafa Benitez in the dugout at Mestalla. He's a great manager. I think he made us all better as individuals and better as a team. He's methodical. He's got his ideas really clear. I think what he does best is transmit his ideas to the players. He gives you loads of information about your rivals. He managed us really well.
After five seasons at Mestalla, Juan Sanchez returned to Vigo to spend two final seasons at the club before hanging up his boots. After some experience in the technical side of football, he continues preparing himself for the future with the hope of being ready when his next challenge appears. You never know what the future will hold. You have to be ready. You have to have plenty of information. Valencia is my home. I've spent almost my whole life here. But I can't say whether I'll get my chance here or not, because you never know what's going to happen tomorrow.